Get on in here, everybody. My headphones are all messed up. Hold on, I gotta press the button. Welcome back, everyone, to the channel. Hope you're having a lovely one today. Thank you so much for being here today. Uh, we're going to listen to Susan Fassbender. We're going to listen to this track, Twilight Cafe. Uh, this was not, as far as I can tell, released off of an album, but it was later released on a demo of recordings entitled Twilight Cafe, the demo collection, and that was released in 1981. Like, this song came out in 1981, but I guess these demos came out in 2012. I think that's what I got here. Anyways, we're listening to this track because it is the favorite track of Bob Willoughby. So, Bob, thank you so much for suggesting the track. I appreciate it. Uh, you said that this is uh, some good synth cheese. You said the best kind of synth cheese. Listen, I have no problem with synth cheese. It sounds good to me. Cheese is great. Why is cheese a bad... We always use cheese and cheesy as a bad term, but... I don't know. Perhaps we should start rethinking that. Let's go ahead and listen to the track. I got my knee up because I'm comfortable this way right now. Uh, listen, there used to be a time when I was sitting in the chair, I'd be owling. You know when you... I'm not going to do it on... Well, you know when you owl? Like, I used to sit... I used to sit in my chairs like this. You know, like, I was that kid in the class. In high school, I was owling it up all the time. You know what? Matter of fact, let's listen to the song. We'll, <laughs> we'll owl while we do it. That's a bop. That's a synthy sock hop. That's a fun little solo, a little fun little sparkle in your dish. Twilight Cafe, to me, just sounds like a synthy sock hop. That's, that's the idea that I get the bounciness of it, the catchiness, the fun of it all. It just sounds like a synthy sock hop. Has that kind of blues... I don't know, there's a different thing I'm thinking of, but like a different term. But like... Like, it just has that kind of fun movement that... That, that gets everyone else on the dance floor, you know? Or on the dance floor, I should say. Off the sides onto the dance floor. And for it being titled Twilight Cafe, 
to me, it feels quite sunny. It feels like a bright piece of, I wouldn't go so far as to say like sunshine pop or anything like that, but it just feels like very sunshiny. I love the synths in there, especially that little, in the break, the like that little, that little line there sounds really fun. And then the production is not like, it, it's kind of washed out, which makes sense that this is from a demo collection, you know, so there's probably not a chance to actually go full fledged and um, actually work with it. Because I, I didn't read. I believe that Susan had passed away several years later, like before the music got released properly. Um, we can look into that. So, you know, there may not have been a chance for the music to really become what it was meant to be. But this is a nice sparkly demo of what could have been. And I, I have to scoot up. And I think that it sounds quite nice. Now, lyrics, I had to just use Google because I couldn't pull up... Uh, like genius or anything. Sometimes I get so alone, there's only one place I think I can go. It's where the beat is strong, melody is drifting, I can sing my song. Walk down the high street, I'm on the neon lights. Pretty soon I'll find my way to the Twilight Cafe. Music grabs me, spins me around. Spirit soars, no longer smash to the ground. The cares and worries of a busy day just slide across me as I start to play. Listen. The whole song, like I said, sounds so bright and sunshiny and filled with positivity. Man, me owling in the in the this? Now I'm really cut off. Um... <laughs> It works so well with the lyrics, of course, and how they they speak of those same things. The beat gets stronger in a mystical way. Something around me as I dance and sway. My body feels as if my heart's on fire. Enfolds my brain with a deep desire. See a face that swims before my eyes. You walk towards me, give me no disguise. I find no words to say. Beautiful ending to a hard, hard day. Listen, at the end of the day, everyone's running to the Twilight Cafe. Uh, let me look at this here. Let me look at some of the information. Oh, I could have kept you guys up. After Fassbender and Russell achieved chart success in 1981, they were dropped by their label. The two musicians had already recorded a number of demos for a possible album release but never came to fruition and continued to occasionally record during the 80s. Russell kept all these recordings and 30 years later decided to have them remastered and released after seeing some considerable fan interest on here. So uh, Kay Russell is who's handling the vocals and guitar and Susan Fassbender vocals and keyboards on this track. So I think that that's a fun time. Thank you so much for the suggestion, Mr. Bob Willoughby. I appreciate it. Of course, the rest of you, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Follow me on Twitter, support the channel on Patreon. Thank you for being here. Thank you for, my ankles are hurting, man. That's not, that's not good for a long time sitting. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you all later. <laughs>